Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to Castlevania II, Simon's Quest, where we step into the shadows of Hell House. Basically, Simon was hurt very badly fighting Dracula in Castlevania I, and a ghost lady came and told him that the only way to end his curse and truly destroy Dracula's power was to go around the countryside gathering up all the little bits of Dracula so he could force a final confrontation with him where he wasn't at the center of his power and was really weak and could finally be destroyed for good. That's all in the instruction manual. Ah, sorry. Um, yeah, so I did this before, but the audio sounded really bad, so we're going to try this again. <laughs> and see what we can see. Not fantastic at this, but it's also not that difficult. We need to buy two things, and we only have enough money for one of them here. So we need to get the heck out of town and go kill some stuff. Uh, you can talk to the people, they don't really have a whole lot to say. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. I need to talk to you. I would love a white crystal. Thank you. What's a white crystal for? Honestly, I'm not real sure. But I know we need it. And we need to kill this. This. We need to relieve aggression. Because of New Vegas. Oh, New Vegas. Oh, what happened? So, I still have all the videos. I'm still going to be recording. Eventually, I'm sure we'll be able to post them again. And we'll have New Vegas back. But in the meantime, I'll just focus on some good Halloween-style games, like some more Castlevania. I've got Necrovision installing right now. I'm going to go ahead and start that. I'll do some more Ghostbusters. We'll be fine. I'll get Left 4 Dead 2 rendered this weekend and get it posted up. We'll have all kinds of stuff to keep us entertained. So, Simon's Quest. We have a little hit point bar. Um, we have merchants in this game, you'll notice. People who will sell us items in our quest against Dracula. So... This was kind of a weird branch for the series to go in, from the stages and bosses and whatnot. There are bosses and there are stages, but there's also this area in between, where you kill a lot of monsters and there's a day-night cycle. And, because we're cursed. At night, the bad monsters come out. They're tougher, um, but they give more he uh, hearts that we use to buy things, and we still use sub-weapons. Uh, bit more damage now. But it's nothing too bad. And by killing a bunch more of them, we'll be able to get a nice toy when we get to the next game. So there's like a... There's five mansions we need to do. Five pieces of Dracula that we're going to possess. There are 13 clue books. And we'll find a couple of them. Um, I'm not gonna get all of them because they're kind of a pain in the butt. Um, I have beaten this before off camera uh, using a guy. You kind of have to. If you don't, you just. Yeah, you'll love some of the puzzles in this class. They're just. The way only beautiful Japanese Nintendo Konami games can do it. With the, you know, hop around in a circle on one foot singing uh, I'm a Little Teapot. Then you'll get to the next level. You know, crap like the Lost Woods from Legend of Zelda, the Invisible Guy in Adventure of Link. That's enough of that, Mister. So, uh, a lot of things that we enjoy in the newer Castlevania games are caused by this one. Um, the mazes, the different areas to go to at your leisure. Merchants. The day-night cycle is a bit like the inverted castle. If you think about it with the tougher bad guys. So we need 100 to finish this town. Oh, well, we're not going to get the other way. So we need 50 to get the best item in the game. The holy water, of course. Always holy water. Next town to get uh, a 
sub weapon we can actually fight with. Because holy water is actually not useful for fighting. It's useful for uh, finding the pit traps and breaking down blocks. We can get a dagger and a new whip. Should be daytime. So. That up at the top is it's day one. It's four o'clock in the morning. In two hours it'll be daytime. If we were to go back in town right now, there'd be a bunch of zombies, so we don't want to go back in town. They're a lot faster than werewolves. This is working really well. I might just have enough to get both of those without having to power up again later. Oh, damn. Good morning, son. We need some more hearts, though. I also have a bad habit of skipping the uh, message boxes sometimes. I'll try not to. So we got 136. We need, what, 64 more? So we talked to him. We need to go in the room next to him. Uh, Simon will also level up in this one. And if you die all the way, you lose all your hearts, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Yes, I would love holy water. Thank you. I need to select that. It goes tinkle, 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 and doesn't actually burst into flame. It does about as much damage as the whip we have right now. So. We need to move along. on every screen, as far as I'm aware. Come here, you. No. Getting good. Yes, we need, well, we need more than I thought. So that was 50. And 100 and, oh, yeah, I'm not too worried about the dagger. We need 150 for the next whip, which we are going to have to get. 50 for the dagger, which is not a bad purchase, but it's not essential. I'm getting a little fuzzy. I'm trying to render some fallout while I do this, so bear with the, bear with me on this. This is also the famous Castlevania song, Bloody Tears, that's getting butchered. Stop. 
up, essentially. This is some of the more awesome music in Castlevania for its time. I mean, Castlevania 1 had some awesome music. Um, after this one, they did go back to the more traditional video game format with uh, Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse. Uh, except they added some interesting stuff. They borrowed some stuff from Simon's Quest, the, the stuff that worked, like the branching paths. Like, notice how we can keep going to the right, or we can go down. The town we want to go to is down. They took out all the extra stuff, like towns and shopping and things like that. It's more like Castlevania 1, except you get to choose your path. You can go here, you can go there. You don't have a set path to get to Dracula's Castle. You also don't start in Dracula's Castle again. do that one, I might go ahead and move on to one of the Nintendo 64 ones, just for a change of pace, and that in Dracula 3, is, Castlevania 3, is insanely difficult for the American version. I might have to bust out, like, a Game Genie or something for it, honestly, if I plan on beating it. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably take the long way with Castlevania 3, too, because I really like the clock tower level. Also, I am installing Fallout 1. Um, I'll probably start that at some point, and then I'll, I'll get some Ghostbusters done, because we haven't done that in forever. Probably some Breath of Fire as well. Just, but uh, uh, I'm going to try and get a bunch of Halloween games done, and then we'll have uh, you know, some ghosty monsters, things like that. And then, um, I don't know, maybe next month, whenever Fallout gets released in the European countries, there are a lot of reasons it could have been taken down. Um, they've still got videos that they're making for it, like their Easter eggs, and their hey, check out the voice actors, and it's still a really fun game. Um, I recommend trying it out. It, it is... I'm having a blast with it. When it's frustrating. The problems I'm having are more frustrating because I've been recording. If I was just playing, I wouldn't really care about so much about the crash wipe I had. Um, and there are tips. Um, you know, if you try to run it and have problems, let me know. Fixes for it. They're actually really easy. They just involve uh, downloading a file and telling your Fallout director to use it for its graphics. So, the bad guys are going to go away. That was still a tough one, but he only gives one heart. So, we got a head start on our next purchase, which won't be for a long time. Well, no, actually. Such. Yeah. So we need to go in here. Yeah, we got enough for everything. Oh no! There's no way to go! Booyah! That's what the holy water's for. Hello! Welcome, stranger! Boy, a dagger! Yeah, this is the also the origin of the Resident Evil 4 guy. It's probably not, but damn, it would work, wouldn't it? I don't remember what button my jump button is. There's a church. You can get healed there. Let's see, does anyone have anything fun to say? You've got a friend waiting for you in the town of Algeba. I think that means a guy who will trade us a new weapon. I don't know. Like I said, the guys are pretty weird. Those really obscure hints. Another secret floor. <gasps> I originally, I got interested again in Simon's Quest 